So we just arrived, we're unpacking, and the guy that showed us around where we're staying is super nice. Um, he's <laughs> found out that I've got an interest in wildlife photography and pointed us towards... Um, I'm getting distracted by wildlife. Oh, you can take the camera. <laughs> so he's found out that we've got... I've got an interest in wildlife photography and he's pointed me towards um, a field that's got a regular buzzard that lands on picnic tables and polecats, believe it or not, <laughs> um, as well as badgers and other things. Um, He's also said that there's a beach nearby that's very remote and good for seals. So I'm a little bit... I may pass out. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to unload the car and go up to the... and see if we can find our rooms. Right. Kitchen. Pretty good for a few days, just two of us. Pretty happy so far. Throw into the living room. This is Again, gorgeous. Looking amazing. I could live here. I actually could. Sounds like there's a swallow in the building. There is a swallow in the building. Oh my god! Uh, if we just back off a second, and then it should find its way out. Because it can squeeze out of these easily, or land and come out. But it's in that one at the moment. Yeah, because we're here. So if we go downstairs, leave the swallow to get out. It's a sign of a good few days. Excited for the week to come. Yeah, put the cat on. <laughs> So, update. Mum is now trying to connect to the internet and succeeding. Um, it's broken. <laughs> um, we got the swallow out. Oh, it's connecting. <laughs> we got the swallow out. It went out one of the windows we opened. Um, now we're going to take the advice of the guy whose house this is and head down to a local beach which she said is pretty good for seals. And we're going to try and get there before sunset. We've got a couple of hours, um, should be quite easy to do. Right, I suppose while mum's looking up all the weather, I should explain why my mother is with me on this trip, considering that I'm 23 years old, can drive myself and can afford to pay for myself. Um, basically, I spent together a photography trip and mum here asked me where I was going, what I was doing, and I said I'm planning to go to Skoma to photograph puffins. It's not a good weather forecast. In the middle of... Sorry, I thought they'd like to see the weather forecast. Um, but yeah, Mum heard that I was going to be going to SCOMA and photographing puffins and decided that she'd be coming. Um, <laughs> so she's joined us and Do she's going to be... Do the boats go in its 24 and 25? Because that's Tuesdays. She's going to be filming me a lot of the time um, in return for me taking it her around. It can change to... though, can't it? Oh sorry, I'm Jen. I'm She's going to be filming me a lot of the time in <laughs> stand out of shot. She's going to be filming me a lot of the time in return for um, me bringing her with me and going around Skoma and showing her all the puffins and wildlife um, that I know this area has to offer. So it's not going to be a regular thing. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, but it should be fun. But that explains it anyway. So we're just about to head down to the beach. As I said, I thought you might be interested in this little gear bit. Um, if not, skip to this time, and you can skip all the gear bit and just see the wildlife on the walk. Um, so what I'm going to be taking with me is my 5D Mark IV and the 100-400 lens, and my 500. Usually I'd take my tripod as well, but it's going to be a bit of a walk, so not really up for taking that extra weight because it's not a lightweight tripod um, so we're just going to go down there and then if there is something worth using the 500 for I'll try and opt for resting it on a rock or my knee or something like that and if it hangs about whatever we see then I'll go back with the tripod at a later date so it doesn't really bother me so I can just about fit the 500 in with that attached do the top up I'd say this Vanguard bag is something I got because it's the only thing that I could find that wasn't stupidly excessive 
and could fit my 500 with the camera attached. Um, all the other bags, it's just not tall enough. Um, so this is quite a new Vanguard bag for me. It's the Alter Sky 49, if you're interested. Uh, I'm not a massive sort of gear nut, but I do like to get the stuff that works properly. Um, it's meant to take sort of all sorts of lenses and, and a, even space for a drone, but to be honest, it works for me in terms of all the lenses that I want to take and some. And it's really comfortable, it has to be said. But yeah, so that should do us for a reasonable size walk, reasonable size distance walk down to the beach and see what we can find. Wish us luck. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's a view, isn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, actually. Look at that. <coughs> Ooh, look at that, look at the light. That's it. So we've just seen a seal bob up right in front of us. We're going to try and sit just out of sight so he can't see us until he gets closer. And um, we're moving in between him diving. So as soon as he's diving, we're moving so it doesn't think it's been spotted, so to speak. Let's keep it up while it's under. I'm going to try and get a little bit level, so I'll get a level shot. Um, but I won't get too much closer. I'm going to let it come to me. Um, wish me luck. Right, so that's pretty disappointing. Um, I got into position and he just didn't service again, um, or she, to be fair. Um, my theory is, and it is just a theory at the moment until I go back and do the reading on it, um, that it just got too shallow for him to hunt amongst the rocks. Um, I think I just timed it wrong, really. Um, but at least now I know that I can come back another time, I can time it a little bit differently. Um, and who knows, with the, there being a big storm tomorrow, he may come in as, as, as well as some others to take shelter, because it's quite a sheltered cove here. Um, but that's just, wildlife photography sometimes you do everything's right we were downwind doing it in between its dives um, we weren't too close it didn't sense us and disappear off did everything right it's just not the case so the plan today was to pop down to the beach and to some extent it's still the plan and um, but as you can tell the weather isn't great in fact there's a storm here <laughs> um, so it's due to last all day today, up to 40 mile an hour winds. Um, so I'm heading into the local town, Haverford West, um, and we're gonna try and get some really heavy duty wet weather gear, head back down to that beach that we went to last night and find as much a sheltered spot as possible and just wait it out and see if the seals come in for a rest from the storm. Um, I would be after all the other wildlife that we've been told about like pole cats and buzzers and stuff but seeing that they've got a young they're meant to have a young family at the moment I think they're just going to be sheltered in the rain so I think seals is the best bet at the moment which is luck. It is the rainy day. Rainy, rainy, rainy. So as you know we've been into town and the weather's been a bit awful. Um, just to give you some perspective tomorrow is actually looking really quite positive if it weren't for the 40 mile an hour winds and the rain. So the odds of the boat sailing tomorrow are pretty minimal so we're trying to ignore that and um, in the meantime today has really quite improved. Winds have dropped quite substantially so this is an improvement on earlier. Um, so the wet weather gear that we got earlier is obviously going to be quite vital um, so I'm just going to show you what we've got. I've actually got some really good bits. Stumbled on a little gold mine, really. It was called Army Supplies in Haverford West. So I'll show you what we've got right now. First item up, and possibly my favourite, a very, very stylish coat. As the more eagle-eyed of you may have spotted, the uh, claim it was a stylish coat was sarcastic. Um, but as the grey seals and other birds of prey and bits of wildlife aren't actually that up to date with Vogue, I don't think they'll mind. It does a job, it's ridiculously waterproof. Um, I can't ever see getting a drop on me. 
um, it will keep me dry and warm and that's the thing that matters. On to the next item. So my next purchase is this dark green poncho um, for just 20 quid. So this will definitely keep me dry if the other one doesn't. Third purchase is something that I won't be making use of this trip, but I'll definitely be making use of when I get back. Basically a massive camouflage net. Last but not least, this. Very cheap. Quite cheaply made. Doesn't look too useful at all, but believe me, something decent to sit on that's maybe dry um, and actually quite comfortable um, is priceless when you're out taking photos. Uh, that will actually fit into my large Vanguard bag that I showed you earlier in the video in the laptop compartment. Because <laughs> to be honest, I'm never really going to be taking a laptop out in my field bag. But that, I'll definitely make use of. So hopefully I'll get some good results using this later on today. Fingers crossed. It's now uh, Tuesday morning, it's meant to be the first day that we go on the boats. Um, last night I had a lovely time sat in the rain, um, that's not sarcasm, it was really nice. I had, my, um, I had everything on to keep me dry, so I just enjoyed watching a seal feeding, but unfortunately it was at quite a distance, so I haven't really got any photos of it. Oh. Um, today we're meant to be going on the boat over to Skoma but it's not looking likely so we're both a little depressed because um, it's also not looking likely tomorrow um, there's some really really strong winds um, they let you know whether it's going to sail on the Twitter page at about 8 o'clock every morning um, It's pretty likely that it's not going to happen, but they meant you meant to start queuing at about seven for tickets. So I'm going to head down there anyway because I haven't got anything better to do, um, and just wait it out in hope for no reason because we don't have any hope really. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I suppose fingers crossed, but it's just not going to happen anyway. Wish me luck. Thank you. He just stood there, didn't he? He got a video and walked all the way he back. He just up. stood there and now he's got to walk all the way back <laughs> to his little hut that's like. Oh, you can just about see it. Just there. <laughs> So funny. He's he hasn't even said anything about the sailings. Like he didn't say they probably anything. won't sail today or well, he anything. Just, he just, He's just let us park it, pay our five pounds. I didn't know if he was going to tell us there was something not running or anything. He just stood there. Yeah, but you'd think he would have some sort of. He'd give us a hint. It might not be worth paying the fiver, wouldn't you? It's so funny. Just see the boat in the distance, sir. Huh? This rough sea. And then we've just seen this. Not surprised. <laughs> Here's Matt. We, well, as you can tell, no boats today. So we could be very gutted, but um, having been down to the sea, I value my life, so <laughs> it's... <Quite> relieved. <laughs> we're a little bit relieved, yeah. Um, 
as always tomorrow and in the meantime we're probably gonna see if this opens up at 8 still and have a cup of tea and head up to the headlands and get some shots safety and um, there are a lot of, sort of gannets flying around so Matt's hoping that one will come in close but if you look down there Lots of gannets about, it's brilliant. Such easy shooting as well. We've got ourselves in a really good spot. It's nice and sheltered, and we've got them coming from right to the left, so I can get my eye in. Um, hopefully, I've got some good shots. I'll throw up the screen now for you. Yeah, so this is Matt, just uh, sun worshipping, really, because it gets really cold up here. Mate, you don't understand when... the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first sun we've seen, and I'm so cold. <laughs> worth it, worth yeah. it. <sighs> Lovely, makes a difference, doesn't it? And Matt's just got dolphins on camera for me, so I made up really. See it. Right, it's 10 past 6 in the morning on our final day, so our final chance to get um, some photos on, of the puffins and see if we get on the island. It's a 20 mile an hour wind, so it's still a bit, uh, but we've got to try really. i um, really hoping to get there, but if not, we've got a plan to head to Kippen Farm for red kites, so there is a backup there. Um, we've got to be out in 20 minutes, um, well, we've got to be out by 10, but we want to be out in 20 minutes in order to get there for a decent time. Just enough time for a cup of tea. Throw everything in the car and off we go. Let's do it. We optimistically came down yesterday as well. We optimistically right? came yeah. down yesterday too. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were back in bed by 10. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you.